So let's start with the most important one, customers. You see it shows like this, you see, you know, listening to customers being in the industry, that what they really want is a high sensitive spectrometer, but they want a spectrometer that can interface with their samples. There's a whole myriad of new applications. Rama is an enabling technique and how you interface with the samples, how you take that data requires configurability without compromising on that sensitivity. And that was the first thing that we wanted to do. It's all very well and good then being sensitive and having that configurability. And I'll talk a little bit more about those in a moment, but we also need to have a couple of other things which are important. And that's where the design for manufacturing, volume manufacturing comes into play. In order to be able to take the same measurement on every individual spectrometer, it's really important to have high unit to unit reproducibility, to have thermal stability. What does that mean? What does it mean for the, for the smart people, for the people actually using these instruments? What it actually means is, is that they can trust the data that they get. When they take that, they can do that. So their library matching, their chemometrics, their principal component analysis, they can trust the data coming in and then the answers coming out. So at Wasatch, what we wanted to do is design a product line that could really service and facilitate the new age, if we like, of Raman. Raman traditionally is a white powder measurement. It, it, it began really in, uh, in, in forensic and hazmat, it moved into pharma, and that's great worthwhile applications, but really the future for Raman, we believe, is in, uh, is in medical device manufacturing, in diagnostics. Whether that be cancer detection, disease detection, antimicrobial resistance, that's kind of where we are. And that's kind of why we designed that in line with our strategy. Well, you can see we've got multiple different wavelengths. So the active Raman material, well, there's a Raman effect which changes with laser wavelength. You've got to take into account the fluorescence of your sample, which changes with wavelength. And you've got to take the, the, the sensitivity, which changes with wavelength. So having each of those options here is really important in that regard. We also have some more traditional configurable aspects, which is the optical slit, which is the traditional way to uh, look at the trade-off between optical resolution and throughput. In our benches, we give the option of two different types of detectors. So whether you want a good enough detector, very good for mid-level uh, and, and, and strong emitters, cost-effective, again, if we think about that strategy of providing point of use, we offer that detector. And we also offer the higher end, higher cooled cameras, such if you've got weak uh, signals, low light levels, thinking about limits of detection, if you're trying to find things in, in healthcare, being able to see it earlier in lower light levels, we've got that option in the detector as well. Inside this bench as well, we've got one other clever little trick. Wasatch is known, just mentioned, Wasatch is known for that high throughput design, the F1.3, that's great. But some applications require higher resolution, but still want a good throughput. And we have the ability to configure the optics to check the F1.8 design. So whether you want high throughput or optimize for resolution, we've got that in there. And then the final aspect of that, I would guess, is how you interface with a sample and what choice of laser. So we offer the user the ability to use their own laser or to have the laser integrated into our system controlled fully through our software. The other aspect we do is how we then interface with the sample, because how you do that is the most important thing. So we can either have an integrated probe, as we can see here, or we have the ability to use different external probes. So whether you want to couple it into an existing microscope, whether you want to do traditional bulk measurements, or whether you want to do industrial measurements, or accessories associated with lateral flow, et cetera, we offer that configurability in that sense. So we've got the sensitivity and we've got the configurability. And those things, and aligning that with point of use detection, the future of Raman is why this product line exists. It is designed for anybody that believes Raman spectroscopy is important. We don't discriminate between customers we discriminate between photons. That's the founding principles of what we do. What do we mean by that? Well, this design is an OEM inside design. If you were to take the lids off these nice colored anodized products, where I should say, largely we try to match the wavelength of the excitation laser to the color of the bench, a little editorial license as we go into the near infrared, you take that lid off, you'll see an OEM bench inside it. But to start off with, the researcher or the lab in an industrial company gets the benefit of a fully CE marked, fully FDA approved 
turnkey instrument. So they can start using this safely and compliantly. But the data that they take, takes them all the way through the process. Because it's got an OEM inside, if you're going to integrate this into a final point of use, whatever you take on day one, whatever model you build, whatever principal component analysis, whatever library you build, you can go on that journey. The spectrometer takes you on that journey that you want to go from first idea to commercialization.